In this video you'll learn how to do visual simulation with solar rays with inside the ecoject environment. We'll take a look at how we can not only look at shadows but actually project the rays from the sun to simulate direct light with inside a space or exterior surfaces. So looking at things like optimizing light shells, overhang, soft shading, shading devices, etc. I have now opened the EcoCheck environment and the, in this video I'll take a look at how we can visualize not only shadow patterns but how direct light will penetrate the rooms and how they will hit our building on different times of year. So we can go to summer solstice, we can go to winter solstice to kind of simulate the different sun extremes of the year. So what we're looking for here is to avoid having too much sun, direct sun coming into the building in summer and having as much light coming into the building in winter. So to show how this is working, I build up a, a small example here. So let's go to the 3D editor, let's go to the shadow settings, let's turn on the solar rays and let's go to the zone management to just turn off my camera views. So what I did here is this simple go, went in and drew a simple line in front of this very simple building here. And what I'm going to take a look at now is how we can in the very early stages of design look at things like self-shading, look at shading devices, etc. and use this tool to optimize and create the right and conditions for the interior spaces using this tool. So let's go to the sun here again, we mark out the line, go to reflector and tag this line as a reflector. Now we can go down, let's start just having big amount of spacing so it doesn't get too heavy and let's set the bounces down to one. So what is happening right now is that, that we are projecting direct light from the sun from this line into the building and we're able to set up more bounces, set it up to two, to see how direct light will be reflected with inside the space here. And we can go to a camera view and we can go inside the zone making an hourly or annual animation of this. So let's just turn this off and let's set the bounces down to 1 and let's set the spacing here to 50 to have some more bounces coming in. Try to set it up to 2 again. So what you'll see here is that if we go to summer solstice that really not having a desk just in front of the window here won't be very nice at this time of year. And if we go to the window this is really the conditions that we're looking for, having as much direct sun coming into the space in the winter. So let's go back to the summer extreme, summer solstice, and let's try to work with how we can make some shading for making sure that we can minimize this amount of direct sun coming into the space. Good. So what we can do here is that we can really inside EcoCheck do light shells, really easy go in and model um, the actual solar shading or shading device but we can also look at things like overhang let's imagine that we would build kind of a building on top here so this could just help us to examine how far or how large should this overhang be to really minimize the, the amount of sun coming into the building in summer. Let's do an hourly animation of this and see with that we might be able to reduce the shading here a bit. So we could go in and do this. One other good example of this, let's turn this off, is that we could go in and we could simply do uh, a light shell that we are able to go into the 3D editor and we can go to a side view here and now we're actually able to just hit this and hit the set key to kind of work, go to the sun settings and choose maybe two bounces. So shift set to two bounces here. Let's try shift set. Let's mark the shading device and just hit shift set again to see how this is working. And we could of course make, could make more light shelves or stuff like that. We could also try to turn off the light shelf and do, for example, just a simple shading device. Let's see here, like that, to see that this is quite effective. Let's go to the winter extreme and see how this is working. So really, it's really a good tool that we can use for optimizing and sizing self-shading, shading devices, making the right interior conditions for the space.